Hi uh, guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and from today I'm gonna start a series on human computer interaction, uh, HCI, and it is the course being followed in many bachelor program, uh, uh, in the bachelor degrees like computer science or software engineering and IT, and and some other fields also. And the curriculum which I am following for this course is from the virtual university with the course code CS408. Alright, so this is the lecture one. And let's see what uh, is being uh, expressed in this course. And uh, so I have made these uh, short notes and you can uh, download it. Uh, from the description and uh, I want you to know like I do teach online and uh, you can if you are enrolled in any bachelor or master program you can uh, contact me on this whatsapp or email uh, to discuss about your coursework and projects you are working on right okay with that said uh, let's get started with our uh, lecture so I'm just taking a pen and yeah. so computers are like from uh, are like everywhere in this uh, information age right so this is our digital age going on and computers are like everywhere and uh, the the thing is like computers are really dumb machines they can't do much uh, if if we can't uh, tell them like how to do a specific thing in a specific and proper manner they can't do uh, things by them uh, their own i know uh, ai is there i do projects of ai you can uh, see my channel uh, but uh, it's it's not on that level uh, like we can't rely on that right so uh, the the issue we are facing right now is like uh, there is there are two categories of people so these are the programmer so I'm repress representing as P and then we have normal people so and and the and the gap between them is really really big so the programmer are uh, uh, preparing or developing their softwares and doing an assumption like everyone can use it properly but it's not the case right normal people can't understand uh, really what's going on uh, in the software no the, it is just hard to use for them right so uh, that is uh, what this line says but computers are hard to use right and uh, uh, for for an example uh, when cameras were uh, was invented so cameras were really simple to use right uh, you just uh, click uh, or you just press a button and it is shutter and uh, you got your picture right but when we integrated the computers in it it became really hard machine to use right uh, so nowadays cameras are like you have to take a proper class or uh, take a uh, proper training for uh, using it properly right and of course it has more features but uh, uh, more features can lead you to more complexity right and uh, that's what's being said in this uh, lecture like you you combine a computer with anything uh, just like a simple alarm clock then this alarm clock will not uh, act like a computer anymore uh, act like an alarm uh, uh, clock anymore it will act like a computer right and computers are really hard to use so and uh, same thing with goes with the camera as i told and same thing with uh, goes like the car so uh, just like uh, the motorcycles when when they are like manual ones uh, uh, like uh, uh, you you just start it normally you kick start it and uh, like uh, go on with your journey right when it is computerized maybe you can't even start it because uh, because of some uh, silly uh, small problem like uh, you don't have your indicators uh, set or 
indicator is not working so computer system will just uh, block it you can't use your own machine because it is uh, being controlled by a computer and computer is jump right so that's the problem we are facing in this in this digital and information age right so uh, here uh, right so when you combine a thing with a computer then that thing starts to act like a computer so it is not uh, no longer acting like uh, that specific thing uh, like a alarm clock or a camera or a car so that was it for this uh, lecture one and uh, i have all the lectures uh, written down in these short notes and you can uh, download it from the description thank you i will meet you in the next lecture